I first came to Johns Hopkins in 1993 and so did Fanny. And there were two endowed chairs open for consideration and she got the one that was fully funded with all kinds of extra uh, resources with it and I got the lesser one. So I learned very quickly that Fanny was a force to be reckoned with. Fanny is clearly the quintessential living legend. Her reputation will go on for decades, for the next century, I think. Uh, she'll be one of those people that Johns Hopkins University School of Nursing puts on their wall and says, this was a leader, this was an icon, this nursing professor made a true difference. Again, not just in terms of her own leadership and her own accolades, but particularly for patients who have pain, for students and mentees who need the kind of encouragement and the kind of challenge that allows them to scale all kinds of heights. This is why I believe Fanny deserves this award. I actually have uh, known Fanny um, not only at, in work settings, but also I have got to know her family. Uh, she has amazing children um, who I am sure are here tonight, um, who would support her for anything, and who really watch out for their mother because she has so much watch out for them. So one of the things that I've learned from Fanny is not only how to negotiate a tough system like Johns Hopkins, but also how to be an incredibly loving and caring parent and now grandparent. She sees the ground from 60,000 feet. She sees the big picture. She sees how systems interact. And she sees what we need to be doing in nursing and as individuals to make a difference, um, both for our patients and for our students and for society as a whole.